This is Emily from Miss Taurus' Second Hour, and the movie I'm going to be annotating, analyzing, watching, reading too much into, it's going to be The Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And if you don't know, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe is about four children, Peter, Susan, Edmund, and Lucy, who, and they, all, they hide inside of a wardrobe to find a land called Narnia. And when they find Narnia, Narnia is under an eternal winter because of a spell cast by the White Witch. And it's up to the four siblings to find Aslan and defeat the White Witch and bring spring and summer and all that back to Narnia. Yeah. So Edmund just entered Narnia and he's kind of like, he's pretty lost and he's wandering around and he's like a little kid exploring on his new playground, which kind of reinforces the opinion that in the movie up to now, he's been acting like a kid. He's been, being, he's been selfish, he's been throwing tantrums, he's just been really immature. And one of, one of the first things you notice when he enters Narnia is that Narnia is almost colorless. It's basically completely white. There's so much snow and the snow is just covering everything and it just kind of implies that there's no, you know, no life, no color, no energy, no excitement. There's nothing in Narnia except cold snow and it's also really foggy and cloudy which kind of implies that the future is unclear, Narnia is confusing. There's no straight answers. You can't see everything. It's just cloudy. And then you see him almost get run over by the White Witch's sleigh, which foreshadows how the White Witch is going to try to kill him and his siblings. Yeah. And then you have Jadis, who is this tall, intimidating, charismatic figure who just has that presence that makes Edmund kind of bow down and say, Your Majesty. And you notice that she's wearing these white fur clothes and she has an ice crown. And that, that all indicates that she's of like, she's from royal family. But to have fur clothes, you need to have an animal. And usually that animal has to die, which kind of just for just kind of implies how the queen, the white witch will kill for her own comfort or safety. And then her crown, normally crowns are made out of gold and they have like these precious gems on it, but her, hers is just ice and I'm, sh I'm pretty sure she, sh I I'm pretty sure she sees that her, her, to her gold is, her ice is as precious as gold, but usually ice, you can melt it with sun and heat. So when spring comes, you can melt her power. 
And you also notice that Edmund, he's he's not wearing a lot of color either. It's just a dark blue, but he still has he just has some color and he has rosy cheeks. And usually rosy cheeks means, you know, life or vitality, youth, energy. And the witch is just completely white. She has no color. She doesn't even have any she barely has any eyebrows. And just her whiteness kind of reminds me of a dead body. No offense to pale people. She, I mean, she has really smooth skin too, like an alien with Botox. And you see that as soon as she turns her back, the music turns sinister and her expression becomes calculating and it just all points that she is evil. And then she offers Edmund a drink. And usually when you have when you drink some alcohol, you become very open, you like to you talk a lot, you sing, you become very rambunctious. And by giving Edmund a drink, she's hoping to loosen his lips. Also that drink might be drugged. And to make that drink, she has like a little magic potion cap bottle thing and as soon as she's done with it, she clutches it to her chest, which kind of indicates that she doesn't want to reveal her magic or secret. She's very selfish. And when Edmund drinks that drink, it dirties his lips. He has like stains and it and it stains his innocence. And then he asks for Turkish delights. And which is they're all, both the Turkish delights and the drink are symbols of temptation, which Edmund gives into. And they both came from ice. So even though it looks, you know, real and delicious and warm, as soon as the dwarf takes the drink, he throws it against a tree and it just turns back into ice. So it might look real, but in the end, it's just magic. It's just an illusion. It's just all fake and evil and deceitful, just like the White Witch. And then finally, this is just something I wanted to add in. You see Lucy run up to Edmund and she's really excited. And she's one of the only things in all of Narnia that has any color. She's wearing that bright pink coat. And it just brings color to the landscape. You automatically notice her. She's full of energy and excitement and life. Yeah, it's just symbolism of how she is something that Narnia lacks. And she's going to be the one that ultimately brings it which is life and happy endings <laughs>